Number one movie. Now that's uh, and how long did it take to to make this movie? How long did you work on it? Almost two years. Two years. Yeah. And and yeah. you're working obviously that was not a real animal. So that's <laughs> no. what what is in front of you when you're doing that? Uh, well, you know. It was it was pretty amazing because we had to use our imagination all the time. You know, obviously there are no mammoth or anything there, but you know, every once in a while, you know, with with the birds that are chasing us and whatnot, there were stuntmen in tight blue unitards chasing us yeah. with chicken heads. <laughs> right. Well, that's scary too. A little disturbing, but yeah. also and also right. yeah, hilarious. Yeah. So that's how, yeah, because when they when they do stuff like that, everything else painted out blue or green, or and then they add it later. So it's just. You trying to act with a chicken head. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Whole new found respect for poultry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, and, and was this, this was a lot of how much makeup and, and stuff like that to get ready? It was almost two hours every morning. Wow. You know, between hair and, and makeup, and the costumes were, you know, very authentic. And yeah. <laughs> and you, you know, here you are in the number one movie, and you probably, I don't know if this is a curse or a blessing, but you're probably not going to get recognized in a restaurant <laughs> because that's not what you look like. So. Yeah, w without the dreads and the mud, right. no, no one seems to notice. Yeah, so if you want a good table, you have to put that on to that, go to a restaurant. I, I would have worn the loincloth, but I thought it was a little inappropriate. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Obviously, don't know my audience. <laughs> so I think they would be happy to see you in anything. We showed the one picture of you modeling. Look at this picture, though. This is a picture I saw backstage. Look at that. <laughs> now, and I'm watching this show make me a supermodel. So, I'm, but what they prepare you for is like that was not. You look comfortable laying on the beach, but what was the temperature there? It was Montauk in November, so the water was around 35 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah. and you're just, just, were you freezing? Were you shivering? Yeah, des destined to be working in cold weather. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was intense. You know, the photographer has these dogs. And, it uh, was Bruce Weber, right? It was Bruce Weber, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got these beautiful golden retrievers. And you know, he threw the stick into the water, and they were loving it. It's like, look, it's easy. You just do it like the dog does. It's right. like, Bruce, it's kind of cold. Right. <laughs> and so I just swallowed it and, and smiled as much as I could. And how long did you model? Just about two years. Uh -huh. And yeah. you wanted to get into acting? That's what you were doing? Or did this just kind of happened? Yeah, you know, I, I grew up in a really uh, bohemian part of, of Manhattan, you know, Greenwich Village, and mm -hmm. it was kind of always around me. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I started going to acting school when I was 13 years old, and mm -hmm. it was something that I've always been passionate about. And yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing to be, I, you know, to be able to do this for a you, living. It's yeah. a blessing. Well, you've got a great look. You're a very good-looking guy, and that's, <laughs> that's you. fantastic. You're off to a good start. Yes. Well, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to meet you, and, and I'm sure I'm going to see you lots more, but oh, I wanted to you. give you a gift so that you'd remember, um, and uh, <laughs> so you can wear this. That's uh, fantastic. <laughs>